Hello everyone, this is Mafia Man, comes to the StarCraft Star Battle. This is a 6 on 6 ship reaction game, starring uh, Jin Chin. Jin, Zin, Jin Chin is going to come on in there with uh, two rates upgrades in range. Great for farming, not for very much else, uh, but that is also helpful to do in the very beginning of the game. Looks like Yib Nass is going to go with the uh, one rates, one backlash rockets, 1.71 speed. I'm going along that side. Tim A has the plague. Uh, Overlord almost always gets plague. Is a fantastic ability. Uh, nothing wrong with the classics. We got a uh, Chick Rocks. Chick Rocks gonna be uh, bombarding people with bombardment. Um, it does a bunch of damage in an area. It also channels you for a little bit. Uh, is super helpful, but uh, you know can also be uh, a little bit of a skill shot. If you don't do it right, you're gonna put yourself in more danger than it's worth. Slim Thuggins is there to help out though. He's got the EMP Shockwave. EMP Shockwave on Hypno. Hypno doesn't have any abilities. However, it did do some shield damage as well. And last on the uh, red side, looks like we got Americano. Uh, last but not least, he's got 1.61 speed, 5 interceptors, flying along the side, using his interceptors to side farm if he can try to catch them as well, independently moving them to attack Rodnin. Rodnin is going to be that flipper frigate on that red side. In the back, taking on two of the, uh, the frigate and the uh, Americano by himself with Ghetto SC flying in there to support him. EMP, uh, ability, boom, right there. Jin, Jin Chin and Americano get, both get it. Neither have very bit many abilities, zero abilities. However, it does do that area of effect. It does make it easier for Hypno to do some more damage. Hypno gonna move in there, has the, has the missiles. Rodnin getting that shield. Zybel gonna come on in there as well. Gonna have just uh, just his innate ability for recharge shields, upgraded warp, meaning he has a whole, whole bunch of money to put into uh, just a uh, uh, shield recharging. A um, little bit too late for a kill, but does push them on back. And Pipey. Pipey's gonna fly in there. Doesn't have any shields to recharge because he's a Leviathan. Has the uh, 1.61 speed, has the evolved infield upgrades. He can upgrade any of his base stats. So speed, uh, range, thickness, uh, you know, uh, Bile Swarm, his tentacles, any of that fun stuff uh, can. Uh, be upgraded in base, in in combat uh, as long as he's not taking any damage, uh, as opposed to everybody else who has to go on back to base to upgrade. Can't do any uh, installations, however, base abilities are super helpful. Zap Taz, Zap Taz, and all this action uh, does have um, explosive charge. Going to use it right there on Tame. Tame wants to go in there. He wants to use that plague. He's got the energy. He's going to see what he can do. He wants to maybe get two if he can. He's going to take some damage in order to do that though. Uh, it's very, just because it's a fantastic ability, in the very beginning, you don't have enough energy to truly, truly support it. You need a little bit more. 375 would be better than 275. But uh, because of the plague cost, because of uh, everything else, speed, you don't have much money over, left over for energy. So you have to be kind of uh, judicious with what you uh, do shoot it at. Check rocks. Being pushed back by Zybel and Hypno. Does have Slim Thuggins to protect. Doesn't have any energy, though. Plague, that's what he was looking for. Tim A went around, tried to get two, only got the one, but still got a frigate, which is just great. Uh, Hypno, gonna fly along the side, gonna try to do as much damage as possible. All these frigates, all these people trying to push in, see which side can get the dominance in the very beginning. Uh, money's, money's uh, relatively um, uh, even right now, because neither side has really been able to farm. However, it looks like the blue side is gonna eke out that, that, that early push. Zap test, setting up those explosive charges. They do uh, 200 damage plus 1,000 to massive. So they do a bunch of damage. You can see them, though. Uh, so you have to either fly around them or take it. And sometimes it, taking it's sort of unavoidable, depending on where you put it. EMP being used on uh, Rodman. Going to attack. Uh, Jin Chin going to get hit by an EMP. Rodman pushing up. We have uh, Get Away giving him some, some love right there. We're pulling back because there's only hit, get hit by a Chick Rocks. Uh, Zybel taking on... Um, the uh, responsibilities for healing as well. Rodman pushing up, pushing up, pushing up. Not enough to take on the entire blue side though. Even with two supports right there. At least not without almost dying himself. Looks like uh, the Arbiter is only recharging 60 per second. However, he has 275 in, in potential energy to uh, recharge that relatively quickly. It's at a seven, uh, let's see. Um, it's at 10, ten uh, you know, uh, recharge shields per second we have. The blue side, getting back, 429, Slim Thuggins. We have uh, Jin Chin, 717, 523 from Chick Rocks. Uh, we have uh, Yib Nass, 446, Tim A, 642, and Americano, 889, 890, 89, come on, just say 900. I want you to say 900, I'm not gonna get back to base. Oh no, well, it's close enough to 900. 
Uh, but with all that money, the blue side wasn't very hurt, so they're not going to have to stay in base for too long. This little window of opportunity is going to close relatively quickly. When, uh, when one side advances, that means they can build up more farm, and because the money is the same and the blue side's already advancing, they're kind of ahead by not being behind, if that makes sense. We have uh, these beautiful little Tempest buddies with 11 upgrades already uh, by Americano, really went into those interceptors just to farm and said Tempests are my choice right now, uh, really committing to one uh, instead of the other. Uh, it looks like with that is going to definitely helpful. Uh, we have a Plague on Pipey from 10A, really going around the side, fantastic use of that 1.82 speed to get around to get those uh, hurt, hurt juice on that uh, on the Leviathan. Leviathan did, did smartly get a uh, rapid regeneration. His only way of healing is that is what he chose right there. Um, and it looks like uh, get OSC getting EMP right now for his troubles. Interceptors could be dangerous if they were more upgraded. They're not right now, but they plague one, two, three plague on everybody. That was a super spreader event right there. And it looks like uh, the, the uh, blue side is going to be able to advance, and the Tempests are there in position to extend how long they can uh, farm for. Pipey does have rapid regeneration. It does cost 100 energy, but he has 275. He probably should put in more. However, it's the only way that he can he can heal himself. Uh, as the game goes on, it's just more and more uh, important. We have Zaptaz pulling back, but did still get hit. Uh, doesn't want to take on these uh, these tempests. Maybe if he had a you know protective field, it would be something. But but he did go into uh, a pretty hefty ability right there, and it is helpful. It's just uh, you know he, he's a tank, so he needs some more tank and stuff. Um, which is just a choice in the very beginning. But we have uh, Get OSC using that EMP, does hit Chick Rocks, can't use your Bombard if you don't have energy. These two, uh, you know, uh, frigates moving in, doing some damage, using that range, getting plagued for their efforts. The Americano setting up his uh, Tempest, they may or may not just, you know, uh, you know, die immediately, but they did like maybe three or four shots. Bob in so little health. Get OSC flying in there, does give him a little bit of love to make, him, make sure he can get um, back to base, as long as he doesn't burn down. But didn't want to stay in there because that would have been uh, more time that the uh, red side is not uh, not farming. Jin Chin uh, warping on back, 183 right there, 301 from Chick Rocks. We have Slim Thuggins, uh, 220. We have Yib Nas, 661, fantastic, 529, and Americano. And really, that just goes down to like where you are in combat to pick up uh, kills. And it looks like uh, with that, blue side is going to get on back to base. A couple of people more injured this time than last time. And it looks like Americana is going to fly along the sides. Now, it, because his, temp his Tempests are great, his Interceptors are not that great. They're fine for farming. But because of his Interceptors are not that great, his Particle Disruptors are just, you know, there. They, they aren't upgraded, they don't have any, uh, you know, range even. So uh, while he can get a slight bit of money from uh, these, uh, these uh, little farm ships, it's not going to be that much and not going to be that quickly. But that's because, you know, he's a carrier. It's your, like, you know, eighth priority out of eight. Um, although it is actually very, very important. So all priorities are important. Um, it's going to be Pipey moving back 97. The reason why his money is so low is because he can spend it at, they, at home, getting more energy, making sure he always had a, has a reserve of, of 100 as much as possible because Yibnas is going to punish him if he doesn't. He's got uh, 10 upgrades on his Fat Fast Rockets. That was a uh, beautiful little like, feedback on Chick Rocks. Can't do his two, two cool abilities but doesn't have any, any energy. Zyvel moving back. He was probably plagued at some point, but it was worth it. Zaptaz, whoo, Tine with the plagues all over the place. One, two, three hits right there. That was the second time he was able to hit three. That is fantastic plague timing right there. He's got second energy to, re to uh, you know, dra to drain the uh, opponent's energy and give it to himself at a, you know, a quarter of uh, what you know he's draining, um, which super helps. Uh, Overlords so insidious the way they do damage with plague with abilities, flying away at range. They are bl big, angry, but very squishy blimps. Zaptaz, moving in. Again, without any, he has just shields, and without that, it's not quite able to uh, tank all this damage. But if he gets close, he can use his explosive charge, pushing them back. Beautiful PDD being used. PDD being used to block off Yibnas and Jin Chin's missiles. Yibnas, 10. Uh, Jin Chin has a uh, 8 at 10 range. Also going to use those uh, afterburners, especially helpful um, to catch up to people, run away from people, and if uh, for some reason you stall out for a second, helps you um, get on up back to, up back to speed, uh, overcoming inertia.
Um, it looks like Pipey's going to try to attack this uh, Chick Rocks. Chick Rocks is going to do the, the uh, Michael Jackson moonwalk to uh, try to attack. Because remember, the um, uh, Gatling can is only uh, fired if you're facing your enemy. Uh, so he has to kind of turn around, shoot, and and go back at the same time. It's super, uh, a, little, a little bit hard to do, but it does uh, take some fancy flying, which he's definitely capable of doing. It looks like Zapt has pushing up Zyvel, given that energy. He has a 450 potential, has a feedback to drain energy, and electromagnetic storm to do damage. And it looks like Zapt has pushing in Americano, uh, Intercept Tempest being uh, taken out. But uh, the blue side is able to just lay down some Tempest as a roadblock on the way. Zaptaz moving up, taking up a whole bunch of damage. Jinchin moving that away with Afterburners as quickly as possible. It looks like uh, the uh, Tempest, they can't see, if they can't see you, they can't shoot you. They're just going to be blinded by the gas. And uh, Zaptaz is going to use that to his advantage. He's launching out some Griffins to take them out relatively quicker than he would normally. Along this side, Hypno has the uh, quick reload. Is it going to be helpful if he uh, gets into close quarters combat and can, wants to shoot another round very quickly? Uh, but Jin Chin wants to do that, wants to get that farm as well. Um, nobody's really super hurt. We got Americano going to move on back. The money advantage is in the uh, blue, the blue side's favor uh, because they are again advancing. Uh, but also have to keep in mind that a carrier is always going to skew this number up a little bit higher, so it's not quite as dire um, as it might appear. But it is still definitely in the blue side's uh, blue side's favor. EMP being used on Tempests. They do not have energy, however they can drain um, the shields and then you can try to hurt them down, but it wasn't quite enough. You can't stay there forever and take that damage. Blue side moving back. We have 819 from Hypno. We have Zyvel 189, uh, Ghetto OC 471, and Pi B 375. He isn't spending it right now, meaning he might be saving it for later. He might be looking for something else. Uh, one other installation, uh, evolution, fancy ability. Uh, to help him out right there. Zaptaz moving up, has the shields, gonna keep on pushing. He's just gonna go, go, go. He has 1.61 speed. Uh, Yibnas will be able to escape into 1.82 speed. Timmy moving back. Oh, now he also has contaminate. Gonna slow down how many, how much uh, damage the red side can do. Chick Rocks moving in from the side, gonna try to do some damage. He's gonna use his uh, bombardment to do uh, damage on everybody, but it wasn't quite enough. He did channel him so he couldn't chase down Zaptaz. However, he's gonna definitely have to get on back. EMP being used on Zyvel, and it looks like the, the uh, is using the best that he possibly can. He does not uh, want to die right now. He's gonna move on, move on back, move on back, move on back. Get OSC, doesn't have very much energy, and he's gonna try to shield him, but he's almost out, and, he, and Zyvel is taken out. The uh, Raven is a shield transfer unit, and you can't transfer shields if you don't have any yourself. It looks like uh, Hypno gonna move on in. Chick Rocks gonna be moving there, gonna take some damage, but did pick up the kill right now. It looks like Jinchin gonna fly around shooting that stuff. Americano launching his babies. Uh, 18 upgrades on his Tempest. They're gonna do some hurt, uh, hurt damage on uh, everybody. 500 to Massive. Uh, Leviathan, the tank, doesn't want to take 500 uh, damage if he can't avoid it. Rodman pushing up, trying to take out Jinchin. Uh, these uh, frigates are super high damage, super long range, but super low health. Well, not as low as a Kavoid Ray, but low by, by, by Terran standards. They're okay when you can upgrade their shields, but their base armor count is really low. That's why you don't see uh, that many, that much armor. We have Chick Rocks moving back. Uh, we have Jinchin, 136. He's going to survive uh, and warp on back. No shame in that. Um, it looks like uh, Chick Rocks has a uh, 350 almost. There we go. And it looks like Slim Thug and says 193. Uh, Yibnas and Americano. Uh, they were able to pick up a kill. They're all injured. They don't want to stay there forever. Americano just has the 475 energy, uh, so he can warp in his Tempest as long as there aren't any Tempests on the field. Relatively easy. Uh, it's always going to be a lot. 225 is a lot of energy. However, with 425 and no other abilities right now, uh, let's see what he ends up getting. He could get Vortex, but is that going to be worth it to him? Uh, he could upgrade Interceptors with that money. He could upgrade, uh, you know, uh, the range or just more Tempest damage. Uh, so, and it looks like he didn't go for um, for Vortex or any other, like, you know, fancy things, warp in stuff, focusing on uh, this kinetic overload of damage. As it is super helpful. Uh, looks like Hypno is going to fly in there, try to do some damage. 
Ooh, beautiful plague. Oh, Timmy. As the uh, overlord, the uh, the frigate is sort of, uh, you know, also a long distance damage dealer. And yes, you have some crazy burst damage. Yes, you have some fun abilities. Um, but uh, Hypno can just sustain the damage and do some damage. Uh, then uh, then uh, your, 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 your villain may pop. However, with the... Uh, uh, Overlord, he used his contaminate on Hypno, meaning that he couldn't shoot very quickly. Uh, the backlash rockets were like doubled in how long it took to shoot. Oh, swing and a misplay, the first one. Area of effect sometimes misses. It does happen. However, he was able to get three, three of them earlier. So sometimes you get three, sometimes you get one, sometimes you just, you know, um, you know, swing and a miss. Chick rocks moving in, hitting on Rodin, but Rodin is going to be able to move on back. 1.82 speed. Yibnaz going to fly on the side. Oh, he wants to pick up Hypno. Hypno is hurt. He's going to be, he's also smart though. He's going to move along the side. There's not, you can't run away from forever, but at least all over to the side. Drew out the entire team. Gave yourself some time to get on back. And he was by his, uh, his Raven buddy. Raven buddy though, low on energy. EMP Shockwave 125, point defense drone 125, only has 500 in, um, potential energy. So although he can more or less support it, he can't guarantee to always have uh, both of these, especially with Drain going on all the time from uh, some thuggins. That's the only ability he has, EMP. Uh, so he only has one, one ability to uh, worry about spending money on uh, supporting with energy. <laughs> the blue side moving in, uh, flying, staying right by the Tempest. That's what they're supposed to do. Doing a whole bunch of damage, Pipey, the tank, now has a uh, corruption. Corruption's covered the target in uh, in uh, Zerg slime, increasing the damage it takes by 25, and uh, also gets a little boost to his bioswarms. His bioswarm is not very upgraded right now, but the boost to damage when you have one, two heavy heavy damage dealers can really make a difference. Oh, Rodin does get get picked right there and does get hit. Uh, it looks like uh, we have the repair battle bots right now. And without energy, he can't do it right now. But when he get takes some damage, he can uh, he can heal himself. So if he gets plagued, he can more or less unplague himself. Uh, the plague does hurt a little bit less than the um, repair bots can heal. However, it's not. But however, it's not going to be quite enough. We have Jinchin taken out, diving in by Pipey. Pipey almost actually burned out himself. He is plagued. Actually, will he make it back to base? If this plague doesn't go, doesn't uh, stop, he's gonna. He might actually. He has only 300, 200. Oh, he does use his healing. You can see the uh, healing for the um, for the Leviathan can overcome the plague, as does does repair bots. However, rep uh, the plague lasts for so long that uh, you know you don't want to rely on that. We have Chick Rocks 588 moving back. It's a five versus five. We have Timmy with the piano player build, the siphon energy to drain, the uh, contaminate to do some damage. We had the plague. We had the side blast, and side blast is uh, ooh, right there. Can be upgraded. Uh, it starts off relatively low, about a thousand damage. He doubled it in, 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 uh, and and even some more. Basically, just kept on buying more with it. So he is even more deadly than he was. Looks like Hypno's gonna move on back. Americano uh, has the uh, Tempest. Slim Thug is protecting them. Now has his second ability, PDD. Perfectly great ability to get, especially with frigates. Frigates could get, um, you know, put a lot of their money into Ripway Warheads. They aren't on the field yet. It is a good. It, it buys you time, at least. Hypno moving up. Sees Tomei and doesn't want to take him on by himself. Uh, not gonna have to try to take on Overlord if you don't have to, uh, because the rest of the blue side will come around, especially when you're a little bit off sides. Hypno, a little bit off sides. Get OSC taking a whole bunch of damage. Looks like the, uh, you know, Raven is now being chased down by Chick Rocks. 1.82 speed, he did upgrade the speed. Uh, so the Raven, with 1.91 speed, will be a little bit faster, but he will be able to escape. However, it took a whole bunch of damage, and it looks like he's out of energy, he's out of energy, he's almost out of shields, he's gonna get whatever remaining shields he possibly can back to, uh, you know, uh, Hypno. So Yip Nass doesn't just kill them and get OSC, pushing up, pushing up, pushing up. We have uh, Pipey, he's out of energy right now because he's getting drained from Time. He really wanted to use, uh, you know, Corruption or Frenzy or something on the Yip Nass to take him out, but he can't quite do them by himself. Zaptaz flying directly into the bombardment field. Chick Rocks, though, stops because he was using bombardment. And it looks like the plague on everybody. Right here, uh, we have uh, Slim Thuggins. Uh, trying to attack. We have Zaptaz pushing up. We have Zaptaz taking a whole bunch of damage. He has a protective field. He has to rely on that though. And these Tempests were just in the perfect position. 
in the back doing a bunch of damage. Um, we have uh, the blue side rallying around the uh, the Tempest, really exploiting that advantage right now. And it looks like Tine is just flying around the other side. Now, Overlord, for all its fancy abilities, has to more or less rely on Mutalisks to farm. That can be great because Mutalisks, Mutalisks are good at farming. However, without the uh, you know uh, energy blast being super helpful, he upgraded it, but that doesn't doesn't do very much because the range is only ever ever at five. Uh, you have to kind of be more mindful of farming. Um, so you know uh, it does sort of cancel out that overlords have some cool abilities because the uh, low low health count, low armor count, and uh, need to rely on mutalisks to farm. We have Americano moving back. He has 700, almost, 700, there we go, thank you. Uh, we have Tine, 576 right now. We have uh, Slim Thuggins, almost uh, 450. Chick Rocks has uh, 389. Gonna take that, that EMP to the face. Doesn't matter, he wants to just to protect his ally right there. With uh, Yibnas, who already has 461. Now, will Americano go for something other than a Tempest? He doesn't necessarily have to, but the more he relies on one ability, uh, the more he relies on one ability. Uh, meaning that if they're ever in a situation where the Tempest aren't helpful, if they aren't spawned, if they are, if he has an energy drain, then they're going to be less and less, they're not going to be helpful because they're not going to be alive. Uh, interceptors, super low, can't get, can't finish off kills if your if your interceptor is getting killed. And, uh, you know, Vortex is not there, just not there yet. See, Tempests are out. He's in danger zone. Tempests are back. He feels safer. Uh, range is only 15, though. It has an upgraded range. I mean, it's 15 is long. Don't get me wrong here. Uh, the uh, frigates shoot far as well, and they've upgraded up their range to 11. So 15 is larger than 11. However, that's uh, still unupgraded range on anything. So, um... It could be longer than, than 15, 18, 17, something like that. It looks like Pipey flying around the side. He is the, he is the Leviathan. They do get a whole bunch of health. Uh, their armor count them is not terrible, uh, but he hasn't upgraded it right now. He just wants to get some cool stuff, use that frenzy, that corruption, get that money right here. However, uh, he he knows that the uh, blue side is coming out. And, ooh, I'm not sure if he, if he saw. Yibnas does have mines. He's going to use his frenzy to run away and sort of towards Chick Rocks, who is trying to push by himself. Yo, look at that. We got the yeah, corruption being used. Uh, that extra gak on um, the Dreadnought, lowering the armor count effectively because, um, ooh, we have the um, fantastic use of a, uh, of a, of a, of a uh, fusion torpedo. Looks like that was actually from Hypno. Robin doesn't have it. Hypno uses a fusion torpedo to do some damage uh, against Chick Rocks. We have. Battle for the gas right here. That gas, that, that protection right now. Ooh, the Tempest though, that's gonna maybe uh, make the uh, red side think twice about staying in that area. <laughs> Rodman moving back, Rodman moving back. Chick Rocks, using the protective field, adds 50 armor to your base, so 32 plus 50. Um, 32 plus 50 is less than 151, right, uh, per missile. However, it's, uh, it, it is the best way of tanking damage. Uh, Frigates who have high DPS are going to be able to do more damage. However, uh, it does keep you alive for a lot longer. and gives you some time for repair bots, which is probably the next thing he wants to upgrade. Looks like Get OSC has, uh, you know, um, the PDD has the uh, EMP Shockwave, has money enough for Blackout. Will he end up going for that? He does. However, that means he didn't spend money on burst lasers or speed or anything else. So let's see if he actually can actually use it. It's the one thing about this game, if you upgrade something, you no longer have that money, uh, and you can't refund it. You can't say, oh, well, this doesn't work for me anymore, let me sell this. Nope. If you're stuck with it, hopefully you made the right decision. Uh, and sometimes the right decision isn't, uh, you know, fully open, because if you don't use, if you don't get that uh, chance to use your ability, it's not there. Um, so like Americano's, uh, you know, Interceptors could have been better, however, he wants these Tempests. These Tempests have been used super effective so far. Pipey moving in. Pipey has corruption, is having his energy drained, so he can't use anything else. He's so close to Frenzy. He has 500 potential. You can see that his, uh, the, the, the uh, siphon just ran out, so he can finally start accumulating uh, energy. 
Fusion A flying around. Oh, we have this way and a miss on the uh, Fusion Torpedo. He tried to turn it, it is hard to do using space physics. Tempest, <laughs> adding a layer of protection. We have a 391 from Chick Rocks as well. Uh, 10A, 476, Yibnas, 394. Just staying up there, he's not gonna get killed because he's by his his uh, his towers. He's protecting them to some degree. Mines, all over the place. Chick Rocks, moving in, says, I don't even see these mines, nor do I care. I'm gonna try to attack, get OSC. Gonna push on through, gonna push on through. We have uh, the corruption being used by Pikey. Has a uh, you know uh, tentacles, uh, which do 64 versus massive, which is a little bit less than 32 plus 50. So, but base, but it is over the 32. So, he has to rely on a on protective field. And while if this uh, dreadnought is not protective field, it then uh, he's actually doing quite a bunch of damage. Oh, swing and a miss. Blackout being used though on these tempests as well. Tempests are out. Americano and uh, you know uh, Yib Nass are both uh, taking a whole bunch of damage. Zapt has trying to push on in, trying to do as much damage as possible. Some thuggins out of energy and out of shields as well. We have Rodden moving in, trying to do some damage. Chick Rocks trying to attack. However, because he has a you know uh, a reliance on this uh, protective field, he is almost out of energy. He has to kind of wait for that to come on back. Blue side, not killed, but certainly able to, but certainly the red side got some farming time in. Rodden and moving back. Ooh, Yibnas trying to attack, using the quick reload. And it looks like uh, the gas protection does let the red side escape. Get OSC, setting up a PDD. Um, just trying to block whatever damage does come along the way of Pipey. Plague being used. However, look how much health Pipey has. Two, uh, 21,000 life. And that is much higher than most other ships. Even this Dreadnought, which is a tank, doesn't have that much health. He has higher armor, but, uh, you know, just, uh, you know, uh, they're, 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 uh, well, uh, quantity has a quality all of its own, and uh, that, that is the Leviathan strategy once you can get a whole bunch of money really using that farm. Now the uh, Hypno and Rodin, or Rodnin, are both trying to get lucky shots with these Swedish torpedoes, and uh, all it really will take is one or two, and even the toughest ships, uh, you know, uh, the tanks will be taken out. The area of effect is not to be understated either. Play, swing the, oh, swing the hit on, uh, on Pipey. However, he also has been upgrading rapid regeneration. It, it rapidly, rapidly regenerates, um, 3,597 life over 8 seconds, and that is higher than Plague at this point. Uh, 1,600. Blackout being used on 1, 2, 3 right now. Get OSC, using his opportunity, does take an EMP, however, gives uh, uh, Hypno enough time to attack, enough time to attack. We have the uh, Fusion Torpedo, and will he make it back in time? We have the, uh, yeah, the Blast from Tomei. The Blast does push back Hypno, uh, and uh, does push back everybody else. Chick Rocks in he had a situation where he took some damage and got jostled. However, will he be able to make, be able to make it back? We have both of these frigates trying to attack right now. Americano only has, uh, you know, the uh, Tempest doesn't have a uh, vortex, and it looks like Chick Rocks is taken out by Rodman. The entire red side using that time to really attack. Um, Tine did, did push him back, but they were able to regroup just in time. Please, Tempest, doing some damage. Looks like. Pipey in the red. However, his red is is almost more health than some people's normal health. Uh, he has 5,000 health, even when it shows that he has red. And um, rapid regeneration almost always can be used. 625. Look at that. He just spent money in base. It cost him 120, 105 energy, uh, money to upgrade his energy. However, more energy means he can have more rapid, rapid regeneration. If he wants to do it again, it's $400. We have the blue side pushing back. It's a uh, you know five versus four right now, but these tempests are really making it feel not that way. Uh, you can't get too uh, too greedy when you have these tempests doing 780 damage. Zaptaz moving back. Um, Pipey using his frenzy to retreat, retreat, retreat a little bit faster. 1.81 speed plus 0.4 um, just to uh, just to run away, but it is helpful because you definitely don't want to be hit, even as a tank. Zaptaz. Flying around in the gas, Americano flying, saying, I don't want to be hit by that. We have the blackout being used on Americano and Slim Thuggins. 
We have a uh, Hypno moving up. We have Torpedo ready. Torpedo ready. Will he make it in time? And it does hit him. Americano was taken out by Hypno with 73 minerals. Looks like another fusion torpedo. Oh no, the ambassador won't take that. He does uh, use a great timing to run away and uses his uh, afterburners to try to escape even faster. Will Pipey commit to attack? He does not want to do that. Now the War Prisms are in, in more of a danger zone where the uh, you know, Red Side has some time to actually attack them. It looks like um, uh, Yibnas is going to uh, try to uh, try to be there right now. We have Tine going in for the plate. The plate does a whole bunch of extra damage versus uh, you know uh, Leviathans. However, the Leviathan just has a whole bunch of health to absorb that damage. So it's uh, you know it's the best you can do. However, it's not a guaranteed instant shot. However, more and more damage on the on Ghetto SC will take him out. Beautiful plate right now. One, two, right now. We have uh, you know the red side committing to a try to attack. We have Yibnas taking a bunch of damage. Uh, Tine now going to be taken out uh, by Pipey, but one, two, three combination on him. Slim Thuggins flying out, going to try to do some damage. Only has the two abilities, EMP Black, EMP, and, um, and Point Defense. Yibnast flying in, trying to defend the best he possibly can. Uh, Get OC calling for upgrades. Even though they have the, the number advantage, most of their ships are hurt right now. Doesn't want to just uh, you know fly in there and take all the damage from the uh, Warp Prism that he, that he can. We have Rodman using that Ion Cannon. Extra damage versus shields, really draining out the uh, Warp Prism. Um, we have nobody really quite committing. Look at these uh, Sky Furies, just uh, you know shooting at whatever they possibly can. It looks like Slim Thuggins is going to move on back. We have uh, Pipey taking a whole bunch of damage, but now just attacking this uh, this uh, this uh, Warp Prism. It does 200 damage versus massive, but 200 damage into 21,000 life. I'm not great at math, but it's more. Uh, we have. Uh, Warp Prism, and second one, will they go for the, go for the twofer? They might. They have the damage, we have the numbers right now. Will they go to move it right there? Uh, the Raven taking a whole bunch of damage, and the Raven is taking out the, uh, uh Ripwave Warheads, so deadly. Uh, tower taken out. Yidnas trying to just figure out what he can possibly do. I mean, a million dollars in mines could help, but will he make it back to base? He will not. I hope you, that is gonna be it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, make sure you guys uh, press like, press subscribe, uh, subscribe. Yeah, send your replays to Mafia Man Casting first, then press like, press subscribe. We are doing StarCraft Star Battle all the time.